Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Paul Duse and in today's video, I'm going to share with you how to create an action in Photoshop so that you can just automatically place your logo on every image that you are finished retouching in Photoshop. If you're interested in that, let's dive right into it. So here we are on our computer. First, you need to make sure that you have your logo ready in a PNG format. So I'm going to use this logo here. Um, and as you can see, this is already in a PNG format, so there is no background attached to it. So in a usual way, what you do is you drag over the logo here and then you resize it. And then maybe put it wherever you want to put it. And in case you want to change color, so I'll just double click on this and then go back to color overlay and then select the color I want to put. So in this case, white then put it there and you are done. Now I know this looks very simple. You think, oh, this is very simple. So why do I need an action for this? Trust me, if you are dealing with around 20 images or 10 images, five images every day, and you need to pass through this same process, drag image, resize it, and then put it there, you will find out that this is a lot more work than you actually sign in for. Using the action will make this job a little easier for you. So let's delete this, our logo. What you have to do first is make sure you have the action button here. So if you don't have the action showing up here, go to Windows and then click on action and then it will show the action icon over here. So to create an action, make sure that you go to the action menu over here and then you select create new action set. So here, maybe I want to name this action set, maybe um, logo for watermark over here. And then you can just click on OK. So when you click on OK, you can see right here that it has created. All I have to do is, so go to File, and then click on Place Embedded. So select Place Embedded. If you are using an older version of Photoshop, this will come as Place. So click on Place Embedded. Then go to the folder where you want to select your logo to be used. So in my case, the logo is in a Pictures folder. So I want to use this watermark, so Logo Black. Make sure you click on that image and then click on place. So when you click on place, you see that it has placed that logo on top of the image. Now here, what you can do is maybe resize it down a little and then drag it to maybe one corner or somewhere, depending on where you want. Just drag it down here. I think that's okay. And then you hit enter, double click, and then go to color overlay Depending on the color you want, I already want white, so white is selected, and then I'll just click OK. And that's it. I'm done. All you have to do is go back to the action area and then click on this stop button right here. So stop recording. So once you stop recording, this action is created. And you can use this over and over and over again. So for just the purpose of uh, clarification, let's delete this. And then let's click on place logo and see what happens. So once I click on place logo, you see that it has already been placed there. If you like the size or you don't like the size, you have already skipped a lot of steps by going to folder, dragging this into Photoshop and then working on it. So that's it guys. I hope this has been very useful to you. And um, if this has helped you to save some time or if you had no idea how to do this and this video has helped you, please leave a like and then don't forget to subscribe. I upload videos like this and share with your friends leave a comment in the comment section below telling me which videos you would like to watch and then let me know if this video helped you as well i'll see you again in the next one peace